IRS workers are always making sure we pay what we owe when it comes to our taxes. That is their job. But five current and former IRS workers out of the Memphis office are facing lots of jail time tonight. The feds say they committed fraud with our tax dollars by illegally obtaining COVID relief money. And wait until you hear how they spent it. The IRS Service Center on Getwell in Southeast Memphis is a massive complex employing thousands of workers, but five of them are accused of defrauding the PPP program and other loans made possible by the CARES Act passed during the height of the pandemic. The feds say 46-year-old Brian Salisbury of Memphis fraudulently obtained $171,400 in loans. They say he spent the money on a Mercedes-Benz and put the rest in a personal investment account. Courtney Quincy Westmoreland, 38, of Cordova, is accused of illegally obtaining $16,050 in unemployment insurance and $11,500 in loans. The feds say she bought luxury clothing with that money. The feds also say 35-year-old Fatina Hewitt of Olive Branch fraudulently obtained $28,900 in loan funds. She said she needed for a fashion business, but investigators say she instead bought Gucci clothing and took a trip to Las Vegas. 27-year-old Roderick DeMarco White II of Memphis got $66,666 in loan funds, money the feds say he spent on personal items including a Gucci satchel. And finally, 56-year-old Tina Humes of Memphis is accused of getting $123,612 in illegal loan money. She also made trips to Las Vegas and bought some nice jewelry, according to the indictment. Well, the last three defendants have all pleaded guilty to the charges against them. That may help them when it comes to sentencing, which, uh, by the way, each count of wire fraud can bring 20 years in federal prison, and money laundering can bring another 10 years. Federal prosecutors say they will not tolerate anyone abusing the public trust by abusing pandemic relief programs.